A Medicare Advantage plan is also known as Medicare Part C. It's offered by private insurance carriers and it's an alternative to a Medicare supplement. Hi, I'm Rick Tesca, founder and licensed advisor here at Senior Market Solutions. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming Medicare annual enrollment updates and much, much more. Today, I'm going to help you better understand Medicare Advantage plans. So let's take it from the very top. A question we get a lot, especially during the Medicare enrollment periods, is what is a Medicare Advantage plan? Simply put, Medicare Advantage plans, sometimes called Part C or MA plans, are offered by private companies approved by Medicare. Medicare pays these companies to cover your original Medicare benefits. If you choose to join a Medicare Advantage plan, the plan will provide all your Medicare Part A, which is your hospital insurance, and Medicare Part B, which is your outpatient doctor insurance coverage. There are six different types of Medicare Advantage plans. The first type of MA plan is HMO Health Maintenance Organization. With this type of Advantage plan, you can only go to doctors, other health care providers, or hospitals in the plan's network. Unless it's an emergency, you will pay 100% of your health care costs outside of the network. Not very common, but there is also the HMO Point of Service Advantage plan that may allow you to get some services out of network for a higher copay or coinsurance, rather than no coverage at all, but still with the same terms and conditions as a traditional HMO. Another MA plan, and probably the most common, is a PPO or Preferred Provider Organization MA plan. With these plans, you pay less if you use doctors, hospitals, and other health care providers that belong to the plan's network. When you receive care outside of the network, you will pay more, but still have some coverage unlike that of the HMO plans I just talked about. A private fee-for-service, or PFFS, for short, is an MA plan type that is similar to original Medicare in that you can generally go to any doctor or other health care provider or hospital as long as they accept the plan's payment terms. For those that have certain serious or terminal health conditions, special needs plans, or SNPs, provide focused and specialized health care. This type of MA plan is also for people on both Medicare and Medicaid or living in a nursing home. MSA or medical savings account is a type of advantage plan available to some in some areas. These plans combine a high deductible health plan with a bank account. Medicare deposits money into the account and you can use the money to pay for your health care services during the year. To be eligible to enroll in any of these Medicare Advantage plans that I just went over, you must have Medicare's Part A and B. There's no physical required and only one health question. If you choose to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan, you continue to pay your monthly Part B premium to Medicare even though you are no longer enrolled or able to use your original Medicare benefits. You will also pay premiums to the company that provides your MA plan. Once enrolled, your plan will mail you an ID card for when you go to the doctor. You'll show the card instead of your Medicare card. This is because your Medicare Advantage plan, again, a private insurance carrier, is handling your claims rather than Medicare itself. Medicare Advantage plans are marketed and publicized heavily in various times through the year. From mailers to commercials, we are told a lot about these plans in short periods of time over and over. In my 39 years of experience, I've found that there are some key takeaways of Medicare Advantage programs and plans for us to pay attention to when making a Medicare insurance plan choice. First and foremost, a fact that can't be ignored is the $0 premium on some plans. Depending on where you live and if you qualify, you may pay nothing at all as far as a monthly premium or generally much lower premium than, let's say, a Medigap plan. There is a downside to having a $0 or low premium. You will end up with higher out-of-pocket costs. The lower premiums are in exchange for you paying co-pays and deductibles on the services you receive, like a pay-as-you-go or as-you-use-the-plan. 
You could be facing thousands of dollars in hospital bills from just one illness or injury depending on your plan's cost sharing structure. The way that you've got to look at it is either you're going to pay for it up front or you're going to pay for it later. Another thing to think about is when you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you have more restricted networks. Not every doctor or hospital is part of your network. And if your provider is outside of your network, their services may come at a higher out-of-pocket to you and may not be covered at all. So before you sign up for a Medicare Advantage plan, make sure the doctors you want are in the plan's network. If you travel often, own a second home, or have family out of state, you'll want to pay extra attention to this. We get a lot of positive feedback from clients that like the additional benefits included with some Advantage plans like dental, vision, and hearing benefits. And in some cases, they really do provide value and enrichment for some members. However, it's important to remember that some of those added benefits are just discounts, while some provide a small dollar amount of coverage. While they are nice to have, they should not be determining factor in your plan choice and in my experience, read the fine print three times. Surprisingly to me, a lot of our clients bring up in the course of conversation that they really like that their Medicare Advantage plan premium can be deducted right from their Social Security checks. So it's one less bill that they have to worry about manually paying and in some cases makes budgeting easier. In my 39 years of experience, I found that generally Medicare Advantage plans are a good fit for people who are healthy because they don't have as many hospital or doctor visits. That in turn lessens the exposure of out-of-pocket costs like deductibles, co-pays, making the lower premium worth the risk. It's also beneficiary for someone who can't afford a Medigap or Medicare supplement policy because in reality, some insurance is better than no insurance. What I'm going to talk about next is so important. MA plans operate on a 12-month annual contract. What this means is that you absolutely must review your plan yearly according to Medicare's enrollment schedule. Every year, usually in the early fall, you receive what is called an annual notice of change. It will include any changes in coverage, costs, networks, and more that will affect your coverage in January of the next year. Review this notice carefully to see if your plan will continue to meet your health care needs. If it turns out that you've enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan and received an annual notice of change and your plan will no longer or even that the plan is ending or leaving the service area, yes that does happen annually, there is good news. Medicare beneficiaries have a 12-month period commonly referred to as a trial right essentially try out a Medicare Advantage plan. If a person is dissatisfied, they can disenroll from the MA plan any time during that period. If you find yourself in this situation having to pursue this, you can rejoin Original Medicare, purchase a Medigap policy with no health questions asked, and also purchase a standalone Part D plan. There are various ways to enroll, but the easiest is to call and make an appointment with one of my licensed advisors at 1-855-784-9649 or you can also book online at SeniorMarketSolutions.com. Keep in mind that you can only enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan during your initial enrollment period and that's when you first become eligible for Medicare or during the annual enrollment period from October 15th to December 7th. Once you're enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan you can switch plans during the Medicare Advantage open enrollment from January 1st to March 31st each year. So give our team a call. Our services are free and you won't pay a dime more than you would going to the insurance company directly. We offer lifetime policy support and are waiting to help you with this very important decision. Until next time, thanks for watching.